The boy who disliked studying. This book teaches readers about the Suggestopedia developed by Dr. Georgi Lozanov. It is also called an effective humanistic approach as it sets up psychological barriers to learning and emphasizes positive suggestion and learners' potential for success. One day, there was a boy who looked so unmotivated in the class. He did not seem interested at all in learning. All he wanted was to go home. I'm afraid. What if I get wrong? Miss Amy, his teacher, realized that he might not have been comfortable in the class as there was nothing cheerful to see. She then thought of ways on how to desuggest these learning barriers and convince him that success is obtainable. What should I do? She began making the classroom brighter and more colorful by hanging posters and different kinds of materials containing information about language or rules which causes peripheral learning. She learned that playing music too makes them feel relaxed while learning. The classroom is also furnished with armchairs. He together with his classmates became motivated and felt that it was easier to learn in the class. They were all enjoying as they looked at their surroundings and listened to the music. I feel so at ease now. On her way home, she was smiling from ear to ear. She was so happy with the thought and her effort of reducing the mental barriers that cause strength and self-confidence and prevent students from thinking about the fear of failure and this leaves a student's better attitude for learning. Once the students trust me, they can feel more secure. If they feel secure, they can be more spontaneous and less inhibited. Hmm, what else should I do to make them feel free in the whole learning process? Oh, I have to make a list of the characteristics of this method to remind myself every day. A new day has begun, and she reminded herself that her goal is to enhance the speaking skills of students by eliminating those barriers that do not allow them to communicate effectively, and using translation to make the meaning clear. I have to speak confidently to give them impression that learning target language is easy and enjoyable. I'll read the dialogue dramatically along with the music and follow as I read it, okay? Having finished the first concert, the teacher then proceeds to the second concert where she would read in normal speed and mention a few points in grammar and vocabulary which are in bold print. She then let them engage with each other through a role play. They can get new identities and this makes them feel secure and open. Lastly, the students were asked to paint the scene of the dialogue as they had to stimulate their mental reserves through integration of the fine arts. Very good everyone! This time, just listen and relax as I read it in normal speed. On their way home after the class, the boy thanked his teacher in providing him and his classmates a secured and relaxing learning atmosphere. On top of that, he is no longer afraid of getting wrong, as his teacher corrects his errors gently using soft voice, instead of a direct and confrontational manner. Thank you, Miss Amy. I feel so confident and interested in our class now. I have so much respect for you. Don't mention it. It is my job to make you learn in a playful manner. The next day, a co-teacher visited her classroom and praised her for making changes that resulted to a conducive learning environment. Amy stressed out, however, that the method has its disadvantages too since there are different types of students in different learning situations. It is time-consuming, and the class is often conditioned to be in a childlike situation. Lastly, she emphasized that although they feel relaxed in the class, they may easily lose motivation in learning, for there is no pressure. You've done a great job. I wish I could apply it in my class too, but it costs a lot. Yes, and you have too many students, don't you? That's okay, I'm sure you'll find a suitable method soon. Then the boy who once disliked studying finally enjoyed learning with the help of Miss Amy's use of the Suggestopedia method, the end.